Hi. 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 Oh, we're live, live, all the way live. We're live, live, all the way live. Forget about the troubles in your nine to five. And welcome (laughs) to the Flawless Curls and Cocktails. Hey, our (laughs) DIY. Our (laughs) DIY University uh, with Sally Sally Beauty. Beauty. Yes. Yes. (laughs) We are in sync. Yeah, we are. (laughs) So we hope you have your cocktails. We hope you have your Flawless by Gabrielle Union um, products available. And let's get started. This is Larry Sims. Yes. And this is Miss Gorgeous Gabrielle Union, co-founders of Flawless by GU. Yes. And this Oh, this birthday girl. Yes. This is one of my best friends. Her name is Dawn. Yes. We call her Donnie Dawn. And it's her birthday in a few days. So feel free to shout her out uh, for her big birthday coming up. Yes. Hey, Donnie Dawn. Hey, this is exciting. <laughs> Super and scary. exciting. I mean, we have to also just say for everybody that probably is wondering why we don't have on masks. We had to all get tested to be in the same room with you all. And we are family and we are all COVID negative. Mm. Yes. So here we go, y'all. Here we go. All safe, all sound. <laughs> yes. um, and we want to bring you guys a great DIY university to us. Yes, exactly. For those women that rock their natural styles, I know it's been really weird with COVID and not being able to go to your salon to visit your hairstylist. So we have um, gather some of our closest friends and family members, I, aka Dawn, to show you how to do an in-home twist out with using some of your favorite flawless products. Yes. Can we get started? Let's get started. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So Dawn, talk to the people. Wow. Tell the people what you did initially to get started. So to get started, I used the co-wash for moisturizing because oh. that is extremely important. Voila. Can you see? Can turn it? a little bit? Turn yes. Turn turn and uh, then I use my favorite flawless product, the three minute uh, conditioner, which is legitimately my favorite thing. Voila. Am I getting <laughs> it in? Can you guys see? I know it's a little glary, but. And I, I love to massage the three minute through my hair. So after that, we use some leave in conditioner, mm-hmm. which is awesome. There we go. The there detangling leave in conditioner. That's very important too as you start to move there through your go. hair. I know it's glary, guys, but it's okay. you get it. It's okay. It. <laughs> it's detangling. It's fine. And then my last product, and this is something that's extremely important, is the heat protectant spray because people think if you're blow drying, it's like, I'm going to sit under the dryer. I know I need to protect my hair from all there sorts of heat. Go. There we right? go. Yes. So after that, so just so you guys know, I started a little bit early because, you know, we have a lot going on here. After that, you use a defining curl cream. So again, Larry's going to, sh- we're going to show you. It's just a little bit. Because a little goes a very long way. Screw that top off so they can see the texture. Yes. But before show? we go into that, oh. your hair has dried up a little bit because oh, yes, because we've been we were sitting. We were sitting. So let's let's moisturize a little bit more. This is my favorite bottle. Sorry, so excited, so excited about this. You can find these bottles at Sally, Sally Beauty. Beauty. <laughs> I actually got this from Sally. Yeah, I, love it. I got, I got mine from Sally too. So by the time you get from the back to the front, you probably will have to just refresh your hair again. Moisture is very important here. But let me switch you around. Let me oh. just twist you around oh. so everyone can see the set that you created yourself because this is DIY University. DIY. And Dawn was able to get those arms back there and twist from the back of her neck all the way up to the top, and we because you know we don't have a lot of time. She's just going to do a She's few. She's going to do a couple strands for you. So let's get a little defining curl cream. How much are you using? Just a little. That's probably even a little bit too much. Just a little bit. Don't Be in there, Dawn, to get so they can see the. So we're going to start with, we're going to do one. Oh, my God. It looks backwards. That's so creepy. <laughs> well, here. Let's, I have a little bit extra on my hands. So let's, uh, let's mix it up in there. So the other key point is to pull your hair, give it a little tension, because you want to be able to elongate. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we love to elongate. Oh. Elongating. Oh. And, a quick, and start at the root, quick two-strand curl. I'm definitely going to do it a little bit quicker than I normally do, because I want you guys to see. Do you feel pressure on? I do. Oh, you are. Like this is so fascinating. <laughs> so def- like I said, make sure you pull it a little bit, because you know a lot of times we do have shrinkage. So we want to make sure that we get the most that we can out of our product mm-hmm. and our hair. Oh, wait, I can see the, the cream. All right. So 
show you guys one more. So again, just separate your hair. You can definitely part it with a comb. You can do a natural um, sort of separation. Mm -hmm. But again, the good to, again, I'm pulling as I go down because tension is very important. You guys got that? Am I at a good angle? Can you see it? Yeah. All the way to the, I definitely sometimes get lazy, but you can fake it a little bit. You take it all the way down to the end. Take huh? it all the way down to, to the, the end, to the tip. To the tip. But again, a little bit of tension goes a long way. So you get as much volume and elongation. Fake word today. Go with it. That's a word. That is a word. Elongation? Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the elongation is very important. Yes. So tell us, Dawn, why you opt to rock natural and protective styles. You know what? I definitely was a fan of a perm for a long time because I thought it was better. And once I started to grow this out, I realized how much healthier my hair was. My hair was thicker. Um, anything I do to my hair actually lasts a lot longer without that additional chemical. Mm -hmm. And I just I just wanted my hair to be healthy. That was the biggest thing. That was the biggest and most important thing is that my hair was healthy. Mm. And I'm I'm actually, it's been a journey um, and you have to be patient, but it works. I, I'm definitely so much happier now. Yeah. And you obviously can do this yourself at home any given time. Definitely. And I it's, it's kind of something I like to do on Sunday afternoon, you know, while you're watching TV, because you want to condition your hair properly. You want to make sure you get all the moisture possible. So a great Sunday afternoon watching TV um, washing my hair, conditioning my hair, moisturizing my hair, and then sitting under the dryer to get it where I needed to go after I twist it. So how long would that take though? Like from start to finish, just for people that are trying to balance, taking care of their kids, you know, needing some alone time, how long from start to finish would it take? You know what's funny? Once you get the hang of the twist and the parting it and the sectioning, it's not as long as you think. Um, You can actually get this process done if you figure you wash, condition, do the three minute, you can probably get it done in like 30, 45 minutes. Ooh, Ooh. you're moving fast. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, well I, you know, the other thing. I take is, a whole afternoon. No, the other thing. And I get to is, the back and I'm like, my arm. <laughs> this is the way my shoulders are set up. My hair is not super thick. So you just kind of work through it. But the more you do it, the better you'll get. Your speed will get so much better. Mm. How, what, how would you define your hair texture? For me, um, my, to me, my hair is dry and, and a professional might feel a little differently to me. My hair is dry. So again, the moisture is extremely important, which is why, like I said, the, the co-wash is extremely important for my hair. And then when I pull the, um, the three minute conditioner through my hair, I can feel the difference. Mm. I definitely feel the difference. So, um, again, moisturize, like I, I cannot say it enough. Um, especially with the twist out because you figure you're going for a few days at a time. So after you twist it out, take it out you're pulling it up. So you got to make sure you have enough moisture in it to last, you know, for a few days, right. your hairstyle. And what is your hair type? Oh my God. I don't know. Could I, I be, know. could I be 4C-ish? Uh, I would say Am, I, am I getting 4B? 4B, 4C. Yeah. It's the thing that fascinates me most. I'm like, what 4B, am I? 4B, 4B. Okay. I would say a 4B. What yeah. do you think? I just looking at it and I, you know, I've known Don for many years, but I've never just you know, been in, been my up hair. in your hair, but it kind of does look like you have a combo. Yeah. Some 4C areas and some 4B. Mm -hmm. I think Which a lot of common. us is, yes, have the same. And I don't know, is that part of growing out chemical in your hair where you start to really notice your hair texture? I noticed a change in my texture uh, as I got older <laughs> um, and my hormones changed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think a lot of us who are a little longer in the tooth, a little older, <laughs> have probably noticed as our hormones have changed, all, all sorts of things have happened with our bodies, including changes in hair texture, um, uh, your porosity can change, um, hair loss, all of these things can um, be influenced by aging and, and hormonal differences, changes. Yeah. yeah. But the one key thing. Keep it moisturized. Moisture, moisture, moisture. Mm -hmm. And I can be... I can attest to it. She's quite moisturized, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah. Now, how long would this take you normally to air dry? Oh, that's a great oh, question. Oh, I thought so. <laughs> no, it is. Um, I Because I actually, I air dry it a lot because, you know, you're running around so you don't have time to sit in the dryer. It, it can take, it can take a good solid afternoon. Like it's a couple hours. A couple it's hours? A couple hours? hours? To air dry? Yeah, 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 wow. yeah. Are For you whatever, sitting out in the sun? No. 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 
You have the air on high? I'm inside running and I do have a weird um it's a it's a heat cap that I uh -huh. sometimes put on for conditioning. Uh-huh. So you can use that occasionally to just because I'm always concerned about getting it dry at the roots. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean people that people for people that have really porous hair, the moisture really gets absorbed super quickly. So that probably is your case yeah. where your hair just drinks off most of the moisture if it's drying that fast. So yeah. that would make total sense. Yeah, no, it's it's not as much. Again, my hair is not thick, um, so it, it doesn't take as long as most people. I mean, because when we sit you under the dryer, Woo! You're <laughs> I've lost a whole day. Um, I'm going to get all my reading in, all the Netflix and chill and chill and chill. Um, <laughs> reading scripts? The Bible, read it all. I'll read the Bible, oh. the Iliad. <laughs> You know, Homer and the Odyssey, because I have that much time under the dryer. So wait, guys, we have a quick question. It says, yes. what products are you using again? So again, we use the co-wash. Mm -hmm. show you guys. Gary's going to show yeah. you. Let's see if I can get a... Get a better angle. Yeah. Um, oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. We oh, use the co-wash. We use the three-minute conditioner. Mm -hmm. This three-minute... We also have a hard time keeping in stock because it's yeah. um, and it's that life popular. it's life changing, guys. Yeah. Um, the leave-in conditioner. Yep. Leave-in, also another miracle product. So if you see this at Sally's, grab it because it goes fast. The, yeah, you can be a hand the heat protectant spray. <laughs> Bam. Yes, because again, heating is not just blow drying. It's sun. It's dryers. It's everything. Oh, and catch. then finally, the defining curl cream. Yes, yes, another hero, another hero product. Yes. And thank you for that question. Definitely like, make sure. No one wants to good. see. There we go. There we go. There you go. <laughs> and then also just what we haven't gotten to yet. Oh, yes. We will get to this. But very um, important. There we go. It's well, the oil, oil, yes. That's yes. what you're going to be pulling your texture out with. And then you would finish it off with. Ooh, the new flawless edge control. Can you see that? I can't wait till you guys get to that. Show yes. Me. yes, get those edges right. Yeah, this guys. is another one that if you see it, grab it because we can't keep them in stock. So yeah. it's yeah. really special, which is great. And let me just say, it's so super special because of the biotin in it. The biotin is a protein. You know, for some of us, we have weaker hairlines and we need that extra little boost of help. So the biotin does that. It really is a gem of a product. So definitely pick it up. Yeah, I can't wait to finish. I'm not gonna finish it here with you guys. We have uh, another model for that, but I can't wait to finish with my edge control. Oh, oh, this is, I feel like we're on America's Next Top Model. Yeah. Oh wait, is it, is it time for the big reveal for our next model? Da, 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 da. Shall we? It's Thanks, been real, Don. Thank you. Well, thank you, Don. And welcome to the stage, Tracy <laughs> Union. <laughs> also known as my little sister. Welcome, Tracy. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> my um, entrance wasn't as graceful as I was planning it to be. So thanks. <laughs> I'm here. Great. Well, thank you. Yeah, Tell yeah. us a little uh, bit about your hair. I'm I'm finishing up a twist out here, so you guys are to see me do um, how I style my own DIY twist out because I um, I'm still new in the natural hair game, even though it feels like I've been um, natural for like three plus years. And most of those years were in protective styles, so I'm really just recently getting my hands in my own hair. So. Here we are um, at the stage where I'm, I'm dry. So I've got just a couple more twists to take out, which I will use the um, exotic oil drops yes. to do. But before you um, take those out, can yes. you, do you mind if I spin you around just oh, so spin everyone can me, see please. the texture? This is what I live for. Have your twist out. Lean your hair back a little bit. You can see. Mm. Mm. So Look Tracy, how, how do you define your own hair texture type? So I'm definitely a 4C mm -hmm. um, and I'm high porosity. Mm -hmm. I've learned that with the help of Larry Sims. <laughs> um, so my hair, high porosity means that my hair loves moisture um, and it can take it in very well, but it also can um, lose moisture very easily as well with high porosity. So I need thicker moisturizing products for styling. Um, that's why I use the Defining Curl Cream um, in addition with the leave-in conditioner. Uh, to really like cocktail. <laughs> Ding. Oh, wait, who said cocktail? Ding. Oh, 
Is that a... <laughs> well, look at this. <laughs> you ask and you shall receive. Well, I'm going to have cocktail. I'm going to be on this show more often. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, sure. Uh, so yes. So I, I'm like moisture, 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 because I feel like I never have enough. Um, but again, that's probably part of the high porosity action of it all. But look at the definition. I mean, I know we just did like a zoom in, but I, I mean, you can see. Yeah, you, can, you can see it on my shirt too. Yeah. yeah like oh, again, like, like, yeah. like wait, look wait, at no, which no, way oh, we're yeah, opposite. Here we go. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Like, right. I feel like on YouTube they're always like this. <laughs> when they take their hair out, and I'm like, mine's not doing that. But I feel like today it is a little bit. Look how bouncy it yeah, is. Yeah, like just. Ooh, that's it's, crazy. It's bouncy. It's behaving. It's flawless. <laughs> I mean, do we expect anything else? No. No. Let me ask you guys a personal mm -hmm. question. I've never asked you oh, this. I can't wait for this. Not even on camera, but. but <laughs> <laughs> what was the difference between your hair textures growing up? Because I mean, did you guys have the same routine? Were you guys going to the same oh. salon? Uh, so we were going to the same salon because it was yeah. my cousin's, or our cousin's salon. Yeah. Um, but Tracy always had a so lot much hair. Mm -hmm. of hair. Mm -hmm. And it was always super, super, super thick. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those kids that I cut my hair, you know, saw somebody in a magazine. And I was like, oh, I want to get that haircut. And I cut it to shoulder length and it just never grew past it. Mm. And it just kind of stayed. Our older sister um, mm -hmm. was sucked into the Jerry Curl craze. And <laughs> it literally has never grown past just, like where she cut it. Just back the way we thought. No, it really didn't. <laughs> and um, we love you. Hi, Kelly. And we um, love your hair. Yeah, and it's it's just like feathery. Like none of us have the it's, same hair texture. Yeah. But we all have the same parents. But um, her hair texture is very thin and like limp oh, and sort of wispy. feathery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wispy. A bit of a feathery. <laughs> um, it's got a wisp to it. It's been a journey. Let's just, <laughs> let's just isn't say. it always? Isn't it always? It's been a journey. But when yeah. Tracy um, cut out her relaxer and really truly started over, yeah. um, did a big chop and went right into protective styles. And right in. What it was like every like every six to eight weeks. And my first protective style were um, weaves. Mm -hmm. And as my sister coined, and I still to this day, I was unbelievable. <laughs> and I loved every second of it. And then um, I started getting into like box braids and different braided styles. Um, and I just actually recently last week took down a set of box braids um, to have my hair out and, you know, give it a break. Um, so it's the, the two years, roughly two and a half years that I was in back to back protective styles. Cause I thought one, I just don't really love doing my hair. I haven't found that, um, that passion for it. I just didn't want to do anything with it, but I wanted my hair to grow. And mm. I thought that was the only way it was going to work is if I'm not constantly trying to put heat on it or, you know, something of that nature. But in reality, protective styles still include heat because, you, you know, you wash your hair and then you blow dry it so that it's stretched so that it can feed in the hair for the braids and whatnot. But it's obviously if you have, and we have a professional who can either uh, verify or amend my statement, but if you have heat on your hair every six to eight weeks versus every day or every other day, I mean, your hair is going to react differently and it's probably gonna like you better if you're doing it less often and not as frequent. Uh, so I just thought, I'm just going braids, one, because it's like you pop up in the morning to get ready for your day and you don't, that's one less thing you have to do. Um, now, something else we're gonna talk about here in a minute are these baby <laughs> hairs. <laughs> After I take these twists out yes. and give a little style, baby hairs have not been my strong suit. And I didn't um, want to be the one to say it. Listen, listen we are listen, <laughs> those edges. I was like, oh, she, oh, you're going to a party <laughs> like that. You listen, feel like you're done? I I have picked up on all of the passive <laughs> logs she has laid down for me. Oh, and I just it's just not been my jam. So, uh, you know, it's no lies detected. It's all real. I'm owning every second of it. So I'm excited to play with the edge control yes. today. Yes. So let me pull so we, out. We didn't we didn't pull in a ringer who's like like Listen, some like low key baby hair artist. Like a pool shark. That's not me. I'm not no. a baby hair shark. I know I'm really heavy handed with my oil drops as well. I like to get in there with the oil. I love it particularly because it's so light. Is that right? 
Yeah, no, do your oh, thing. Okay, I'm going it's all do it way. yourself, babe. Full drop or full of <laughs> DIY university. And some so, of us are going to flunk out. Um, and some of us are going to get an A. And try we're going to try again. to give you some lecture notes, some, <laughs> some cliff notes on how to, and how to be an honor roll student okay. at this DIY <laughs> university yeah. here at Sally Beauty. So yeah. when I do my drops, I have coded all of the, the twists that I have left. I like to start my unraveling at the bottom because um, when I twist my hair, like you saw Dawn do, when I get to the bottom, I do like a coil situation. Um, and I don't want to have any single strand knots or tangles after it's already been detangled because that's my least favorite part of the whole natural hair process mm -hmm. is detangling. So I really like to make sure, there we go, that I am untwisting without creating more tangles for my hair, uh, for myself and my hair. So here we are. I hope that you're able to. I, it's difficult. Oh, there See, we go. There you That's go. better. Yeah, against my shirt. All the way up. And I'm not afraid of frizz once all of my twists have been untwisted. Like I'll separate a little bit. Mm. Um, but I'm not, I'm no longer afraid of frizz. I'm not going to lie. I was afraid of frizz at one point. And um, so now, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the. So here we are. I'm separating from the bottom, you know, avoiding any twist i mean any knots and oh there we go um tangles here we go now she's really cooking you're cooking with fish grease now <laughs> that's right Listen. i'm like that old bacon grease that's in the jar underneath the sink that's where we kept ours it's true yeah that's real life no it's Ooh, true. Me question too. me too what made you decide to get into textured hair care business and create these products losing my hair um over the course of my <laughs> career well that'll do it <laughs> Yeah, losing my hair and then trying to figure out how to grow it back in a in a in the quickest way possible because and I'm always in the healthiest way possible because I'm always on camera and um and then finding those solutions and then feeling like well if they help if these solutions help me I want to mm -hmm. make sure that these solutions are available accessible and affordable to everyone because who else could they help if they're helping me and my family and my friends yeah. How about the world? How about the world? World. Yeah. We want you to have some. Doing good. Yeah, you're doing great. I think but it's I also was like, I'm not a professional hair. I, I, I know I have needs. Mm -hmm. I know I'm I'm documented a lot, you know, with my hairstyles, but I'm not the the creator of of the solutions and the and the styles. That's why I had to partner <laughs> with one of my best friends. There we go. Larry Sims. There he Hi. is. Okay, I'm all untwisted. My last few twists are out. Okay. And I'm just separating a little bit more. I'm gonna leave some of these out, like um, kind of like a bang. I don't have like actual cut bangs. Um, so I'm gonna leave some of this out. Ooh, I mean, look. Look how pretty. Wait a That's minute. That's gorgeous. Wait a minute. Okay, so guys, don't think minute. that I'm being a weirdo. Also, I'm doing this trick where if the background is my shirt, which is white, you can see more of the yeah, texture. Yeah, 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 more of that. So yeah, I'm not being a weirdo. Like, this is what I would do Ooh. 100% in my bathroom mm -hmm. after I took it out. And I'm, I'm learning quite a bit, um, having um, now recently moved back to L.A. and watching my sister work because um, I've had a chance to see her. Uh, and then show through. them that oh. trick that you showed me. Oh, OK. So I love I love volume. I want to get more volume. So I'm going to lift with the um, tip of this comb mm -hmm. at the roots. If you have a pick, like, an, you know, like a pick, you can also use that. But let's see, it is very weird, Don, to do it in the in the camera. But you're just gonna lift, like I just pull, I push the comb in, and there's no like method. All mm -hmm. I'm doing is lifting at the roots wherever I feel like I want some more volume. Mm-hmm. We because love some volume. we love some volume, and I'm loving volume more and more because I'm hanging around my sister and Larry. Um, <laughs> and it's not a bad thing at all. Like, come on, big we hair don't care. <laughs> Amongst many other things. Um, so yeah, like, I mean, I've never done it this way, but I wonder if you could, because with a pick, you know, you have like kind of that concentrated uh, amount of combs. Yeah, yeah, in one you can space. really get so in you, there. Like, even if you just like kind of went like that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like you're just, all you're doing is lifting. You're not like ratting it, right? We did that already in the, what, early nineties. We're not doing that. It's just lifting, just lifting at the root mm -hmm. to just create a little bit more volume and we don't it can be messy yeah i used to be afraid of the mess mm -hmm. i'm no longer afraid I'm right free so let me ask you this okay 
How long would it take you to throw it up and hit your edges real quick? Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Right now. Right now. Bam. Okay. Hair out. This is like supermarket sweep, right? The DIY university. So I'm gonna come from the back. Mm -hmm. I'm holding it up with my left hand in the back. Okay. So I can gather. Yeah. Oh, well, how about that? I forgot I can spin. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. Get, I'm gathering all the hair because I want that pineapple look, and I want my puff, my pineapple to be as close to the front of the top of my head as possible. Mm -hmm. okay. So again, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's kind of perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, okay. So now I'm going to, like, come on. That looks gorgeous so already. Good. Like, I'm just like, what? Hey, it's so saucy. Stop <laughs> it. Wait till I put my sunglasses on and like, just sit in my car on the street. I'm going to be like, you can't even talk to me. You just can't. Um, okay. Do you want bobby pins or do you want um, a scrunchie? I'm going to go scrunchie. Okay. And it's a nice little um, satin line scrunchie because we want to protect our hair. Mm -hmm. Also available at Satin Beauty. Beauty. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So I'm literally just, right, again, it's not perfection what we're going for. What does perfect mean anyway? I know. It's, it's all so relative. You're born perfect. There we go. There it is. So anything Say it again. Perfection. Louder for the people in the back. Yep. Okay, I only went around two times with, mm -hmm. with the um, scrunchie. Stop. Super Stop. cute. Stop. But I want to do some quick edges here, yep. baby hairs. Now, I'd I, need, I need to get in closer here. Now, listen. To see how her skills this is, have okay, improved. So we have our <laughs> skills, she says. I have a triangular brush. We've got, don't worry, this is like real, like, you know, we use this. So that's why you see the, um, oh, I don't know if we're getting the texture, but it's a lovely um, kind of gel consistency. Larry, are you going to, I'm just kind of, I'm dipping. Is that good? Do it yourself. Okay. Yeah. So we'll start here. You can always add. Okay. Oh, God. You feel pressure? I feel pressure. <laughs> I feel pressure. I'm not even going to pretend. I feel the pressure. So I'm here. Oh, gosh. Something like this. Mm. Wait, listen, okay. your baby hair journey is yours. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> so whatever, however you want. We're going to start like this here. Oh, I'm just okay. doing a swoop motion. Uh, look at that. And look then at that. I'm, I'm, listen, I can be a quick study. <laughs> but And your hair, you have 4C hair. So this edge control just laid that down. Laid it all the way down. It's very difficult to do this in a camera. <laughs> Wait, which way is it? There so you go. Just, okay. Also, my faux bang is probably going to cover this part, but that's okay. I just wanted you guys to see how quick you can um, swoop up these edges with this non-flaking Flawless by GU Edge Control. Mm. And then yes. with biotin yes. to help you grow. Yes. And mind you, my little sister had short hair three years ago, mm -hmm. and you saw how much hair has grown. If you treat your hair right, if you luxuriate in all these amazing products, um, you too can grow can your be hair. This it's really beautiful. Look. This look, I mean, I'm ready. Ready you to go. Ready. Exactly. Oh, look, that's a good question. How well, do you determine hair type? Well, it's you know, it, to me, it's relative. There's a hair chart that's out there um, that basically shows what your texture is from type A, um, which is one, which is straight hair. And then two goes into a bit of a wave. Three is definitely a curl. And then four is kinky. Like so, that really tight Yeah, coil. like the coily. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So like if you were to go with actresses, so who's, who's a 2B? Zendaya would be a 2B. Okay, mm. who's a a 3C? Um a 3C would probably be Irene Cara. No. <laughs> I mean, Larry took it back. Uh, for some of you younger kids, Irene Cara was a huge star in the late 70s and early 80s and starred in fame. <laughs> yes. 4C Lupita, you know. So it, it ranges. You really should just look at the chart and and study it a little bit and what's great about our flawless products is that we have in the case chart. you don't mm -hmm. know, we give you a little mm -hmm. cheat sheet, cheat sheet right on the right on the product, so you can determine if these are the products that work best for your hair. And it's right there, right on the box, right, right there, yeah. just right there. We took all of the hard work out of 
I'm, I'm just really enjoying what's happening here. <laughs> so don't mind me. <laughs> okay, guys. So that was fun. Yeah, that yeah. was fun. And that was quick. Yes. Um, couple tips. Don't rush the drying process. Yes. If you do not let your twist out fully, 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 fully dry, mm -hmm. it's not going to look like Frizz this. city yeah. in a bad way. Yeah. Not the good frizz. All of your hard work will go immediately down the drain <laughs> and you'll be disappointed. Yeah. Sad. And Sad discouraged. Mm -hmm. So don't do that. Yeah. You have to allow yourself the proper drying time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Social media. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So you can find all of these products uh, at sallybeauty.com. Um, I don't want to. Well, just shout it out. There's a lot of us. <laughs> I, I was like, Listen, I'm not sure. If you wondered favorite. what happened to Dawn, she's right here. Um, <laughs> what is that, Dawn? Follow you guys at Flawless by GU. Oh, yes. Yes. On Follow Instagram. us at Flawless by GU. Yes, absolutely. Follow Sally Beauty. Yes. At Sally, Sally Beauty. Beauty. At Sally Beauty. We love you, Sally Beauty. Thank, Thank you, you so much. More DIY coming? Yeah. Yes, okay. there will be more DIY. D University. Coming. DIY. Yes, DIY University coming up. This is really cool because I think people need to be really educated and encouraged by seeing other people do it themselves. It's easy for me as a professional to whip up something, but for people that are still locked up in their homes, this was great. Thank you, Sally mm -hmm. Beauty, for coming up with this concept. Thank you, Flawless by GU. Yes. <laughs> Anytime. Yes. So hopefully you guys are enjoying your Flawless Curls and those cocktails. Um, yeah, and then share this with as many people as you can. Mm -hmm. Share the knowledge, share your resources, um, and that's how we build community. We appreciate you guys, and thank you so much for joining us today. And you all get an A.